Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad. Uh, pretend I said it in Japanese. It is Christmas time and today we are creating one of my favorite things. A marshmallow cornflakes Christmas tree. This year I decided to decorate mine with a whole bunch of Mickey ears. I'm digging this tree you guys so let's get started. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create a marshmallow mixture. You're gonna to wanna to place your pot on the stove, but I'm not making this on my stove because my stove doesn't get as hot as my mixtape. Cause it's fire, you guys. So I'm gonna be making this on my mixtape. Just turn the volume up high. Add in your butter and allow it to melt. Now all the different measurements are in the description box because you can create different sized trees. I'm actually doing the largest recipe but I'm also doubling it so I can get an enormous tree. Now once my butter is all nice and melted, I started adding in my marshmallows. I'm just gonna make sure that all the marshmallows are coated in butter and then just using my wooden spatula to work them around and make sure that they all get melted and gooey. Now mini marshmallows work better for this but they were just too expensive i don't know about these supermarkets sometimes we I, the only dough i'm rolling in is cookie dough you guys <laughs> <laughs> now because i'm using the larger marshmallows i'm constantly moving it around to make sure that they don't burn or getting any sort of color through caramelization now once my mixture is ooey gooey, I'm gonna add my food coloring. I'm measuring out my food coloring because I am making two batches and I wanna make sure that both batches are the same color. I'm just gonna mix this around, make sure that the color is evenly distributed around all of the marshmallow gooeyness. You can definitely add more green food coloring if you want this to be a deeper color. Now I'm gonna start to add my cornflakes and I'm going to add this in four different increments so that it doesn't get all over the place and I don't get overwhelmed. Just keep adding more and stirring it in. It doesn't look like all the marshmallow is gonna get everywhere, but trust me, it will. But also don't trust me because sometimes I'll lie. <laughs> Mixing this gets really hard. <laughs> the air gets in between the marshmallow and the corn flakes and it becomes more dense. Um, and so I had to take a break because I was getting tired. I'm not used to working this hard. <laughs> I kept mixing it and when I was happy with my mixture, I turned my mixtape off and allowed my cornflakes to cool down for about 15 minutes. Now to create my Christmas tree, I'm using a protractor to create different size circles. You know, each one is smaller than the next. Each circle represents a disc of cornflakes so that I can build it up and up and up and up. This makes stacking the tree super easy. And you won't have to do this step because there is a printout for you in the description box. And these aren't completely circular circles. Christmas trees are supposed to be off a little bit. You know, sometimes when you buy a Christmas tree, there's like a bald spot on one side. And when you put it up, your mom is like, turn it to the good side. And you're like, all right, we'll turn it to the good side. So you hide the bald spot in the back. It's happened to you. I know it's happened to you. Now this mixture is sticky. So to prevent it from sticking to my hands, I took some shortening and applied it to all of my fingertips and my palms. And I'm actually going to start with the smallest circle and create the top of the tree, which is just a tiny tree. Now I had to learn from experience because I used to start with the largest circle and then work my way up, but then I'd run out of like mixture and I'd have to create some more. But if you start with the top, then the bottom will be whatever size it is and it's fine. And so after I finished with the top, I just started creating all of the other discs of cornflakes that I'm gonna be stacking. Now each disc of cornflakes is progressively gonna get larger, but it's gonna be the exact same thickness. All of these discs are about three fourths of an inch to an inch thick. So it's like consistent height all the way to the top. Once you've finished creating all of your discs, you can start to assemble your tree. So I'm gonna place the largest disc on the bottom and then just work my way to the top. Now I'm making stacking this look really easy, but I'm actually just cutting out all of the parts where I'm centering each disc of cornflakes. I don't want a lopsided tree. Once you've finished creating your tree, you can start to work on all of the decorations. Now, if you want to see simpler decorations, you can watch my first Christmas tree. And I think most of that is just gumballs and 
Bondin cutters. But I wanted to cover this tree with Mickey Mouse ears. And I'm gonna create all of these with rolled fondant. To create Mickey, I'm using a cookie cutter and a fondant cutter to create a circle for his head and two black circles for his ears. Cut out a piece of red fondant and I'm gonna turn that into half a circle. Apply a little bit of magic sauce and attach that to the middle to create his shorts. Now with a little bit of white royal icing, I'm going to give him some buttons. And then I'm going to move on to Minnie Mouse. Now with Minnie Mouse, it's the exact same process. Just two black circles for her ears and one black circle for the middle. Now with a little bit of red fondant, I'm going to create two triangles and a red dot. I'm just going to soften the edges of the triangles, attach them to her ears with a little bit of magic sauce and voila. Simple, simple. After I created one, I created more for the tree. Now for Pluto, I'm using two black circles for his ears. And then the middle circle is actually going to be the same color as Pluto's fur. I'm going to attach a collar with a little bit of magic sauce and then move on to Goofy. Now for Goofy, we have two black ears and the middle is a yellow orange, very similar to the Pluto one, but also a little bit brighter. Now I attached both of the Mickey ears, created a goofy hat, and then applied half a circle of blue to give him his like blue jean pants. Attached all of that with magic sauce and then I moved on to Donald Duck. Now I'm using a white circle and two blue ears. I'm just going to attach a blue half circle to create his shirt. And with some red fondant, I'm going to give him a bow. Now besides the Disney characters, I also wanted to add some other Christmas characters. So first I created a snowman using two pieces of white fondant for the body and the head. I gave him a scarf with a little bit of royal icing. Oh gosh. And the rest of his features are all going to be done with royal icing as well. His nose, his two eyes, and two buttons. To make a gingerbread man, I use brown fondant, create a circle for his head, and then with the other piece of fondant, I created his body. Now I attached his head to his body by pushing down on his neck and then applying a little magic sauce. Again, royal icing to create all of his features. Those purple buns looking good. Let's create some tiny candy canes. I twisted some white and red fondant together and just rolled it real thin so that I can get a very long rope shape. Curved the top to create the cane and then just cut it to size. I'm also using my little fondant cutter just to get some snowflakes. Now last year I put a star on the top of my tree, but this year I wanted to put a Santa Mickey hat on top. So first I started with a black piece of fondant, and then I covered it with red fondant and just cut it the shape of Santa Claus hat. The front is round and I turned the back of it into a cone. I'm adding some white fondant to the rim of the hat. And using the end of my magic sauce brush, I'm just giving it some detail to look like fur. Now with some black fondant, I created two Mickey ears and attached them with magic sauce. Now once I finished that, it was time to start decorating the tree. The first thing I did was take some strips of red fondant and create some ribbon around my tree. I'm just twisting them around and wrapping the tree at a diagonal. These are multiple strips, but I'm just joining them together to make it look like one long ribbon. And then using some green royal icing, I started to attach all of my different ornaments. Now the reason I wanted to do all of these different characters was because I love going to Disneyland. Disneyland is, I think, the most beautiful during Christmas time. It's already like gorgeous because it's Disneyland and it's like made to look gorgeous. But then you have all of these different, you know, winter elements. Oh gosh. It's just pretty. It's just so pretty. It's so fun, but it's also pretty expensive. That's why I'm always saving money when I'm trying to buy marshmallows. <laughs> now once I finished adding all of my ornaments, I dusted the top with some edible snow. It's like shimmer. What is it exactly? 
I don't know. I thought this was going to be a very peaceful sort of thing to do, but to get it into all of the crevices, I had to be very aggressive. I'm just throwing it onto the tree. Now to finish this all off, I placed my Mickey Santa Claus hat on the top and voila, my marshmallow rice, nope, cornflakes, Disney Christmas tree <laughs> is complete. This looks sick, you guys. Now I had two ideas for Christmas trees this year and I didn't want to create two trees. <laughs> so instead of using icing to attach all of my different ornaments, I used green toothpicks. <laughs> that way I could just take all of the ornaments off and just replace them with other ornaments. You see, I'm being sneaky. That's why you shouldn't trust me. <laughs> the second design for this tree is a Star Wars themed tree. Both of these trees are lit. Now, this is my favorite holiday tradition and I think it's the strangest because this tradition starts at the end of October. I try to do all of my Christmas videos ahead of time so I'm always in the Christmas mood before it's actually the Christmas season. I'm curious, what is your favorite holiday tradition? Is it like making Christmas cookies, building a gingerbread house, punching someone in the face to get a 50 inch television. <laughs> Did you watch those Black Friday videos? They're so entertaining, you guys. And make sure you hit that notification button so that you'll be notified when I release another video or when I post one of my creations in the community tab. I post pictures before the video is up. Some of y'all like it, some of y'all are mad. Everybody's something though. I hope you guys enjoyed this Merry Holidays. Happy Christmas, you guys. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!